You're watching WJLA 24-7 News Good Morning Washington Express on your side. Washington is bracing for the Mueller. Russia report it is due, they say, at any time. The question is, how much of it will the public get to see? And we bring our political insider in on this, Armstrong Williams. Good to have you with us, Armstrong. So President Trump says he wants that report made public. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. I don't mind. I mean, frankly, I told the House, if you want, let him see it. Let it come out. Let people see it. That's up to the attorney general. So before he said that, he's, he called the report ridiculous, but he did say, let the public see it. Uh, do you think he's right? Should the public see this report? Well, you have to go back to what um, Rod Rothstein said, that there's probably will be no indictments, even in D.C. reported back in February, that many Americans will be very disappointed if they think that something substantial will come out of the Mueller report and they probably won't even see the majority of it. The fact that the president is all of a sudden saying, let the report come out. Mm -hmm. I assume there's something that he knows. But of course, uh, the president is not in a love affair with the Justice Department. They could tell him whatever, calm him down with the tweets to make sure he's not out of control on this. Um, but, but it's still, again, I think William Barr has somewhat indicated, if you read between the lines, that it's a low bar. There will be no indictments. It's an investigation. There's no collusion. I think there, it will be enough for the House to continue, even though Nancy Pelosi says that it takes a high bar for impeachment. But I do think the Democrats will find something to pursue this. Nothing will happen because it will not pass muster in the Senate. And the only thing it will probably do for the Democrats is give them more leverage, they believe, in the 2020 election. And that's the bottom line. How yeah. will the Democrats respond right. once that report comes out and will they move for impeachment? I want to move to New Zealand because big news out of that country this week, just one week after the mosque killings a week ago, the country's prime minister moves to ban semi-auto automatic uh, rifles and other weapons of that sort. Let's take a listen to Jacinda Ardern. The time for the mass and easy availability of these weapons must end. So this new ban, it covers uh, all military style semi-automatic weapons, assault rifles and high capacity magazines. And many people are wondering why something like that can't happen in this country. Well, the United States has far stricter gun laws than New Zealand, especially when it comes to these semi-automatic weapons. And their gun laws are much stricter when it comes to handguns. And you know, this is also an honor system where they're asked, giving people enough time to turn their semi-automatic weapons in. They did make exceptions for farmers and hunters and people who protect the environment. But imagine this, imagine if you are an assassin and you want to terrorize people. What makes you think that you're going to voluntarily turn in your semi-automatic weapon. And also, unlike the United States, they don't track who buys these semi-automatic weapons. So honorable people will turn their guns in, but you're still probably left with people who still have the same kind of idea mm -hmm. on destruction. And also, like Britain and other places, law enforcement there don't usually carry guns. So instead of focusing on and removing semi-automatics from the hands of people, which I understand, they will also understand what they're creating if there are no guns and they're only left in the hands of the criminals. All right. Some people are just seeing it as a very quick response. Yeah, that's what it is, a quick fix. All right, so I want to move to uh, this other news came out this week. President Trump stepping up attacks once again against Senator John McCain, even in death. Uh, he's told a crowd in Ohio this week, I never liked him much, and he complained about not getting a thank you for providing the plane for his funeral. Why can't President Trump let go of John McCain? You know, listen, there's no question that John McCain honorably served this country. He was a hero. But if it is true, which it appears to be, that John McCain was the senator on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee that was uh, transmitted the Steele dossier, to the Justice Department um, um, that was the harbinger of all the things that we're seeing today. I have to tell you this, in all honesty, the president has every right to be outraged, to be upset. It doesn't matter, Melanie. Well, the Seven months after his it death? It doesn't matter. Look at what this has done. In front of a military it, it, crowd? Listen, he's human. And nobody's surprised that he doesn't like John McCain. But listen, while we want to push off on the president, John McCain must also be held accountable if he transmitted these documents. He violated 
his oath for secrecy and confidentiality on that committee. I'm sorry, and this man is outraged. And listen, it's understandable. I just wish he was more dignified. He would not let it, let it lie out in public as much as he does. But un, for, the, for the balance of this, he has every right, not just to be upset at former Senator McCain, but to be outraged. It's understandable. I'm sorry. All right, we will have to leave it there. That is the word from Armstrong Williams, everybody. And you can catch the Armstrong Williams Show. It airs every Saturday morning at 1030 right here on WJLA 24-7 News. And we'll be right back. Thank you, Armstrong.